Hello, I'm Julia Wilkinson. I'm just seeing a painting. I think there's someone who looks very like me and then and goes around pretending to be me. I think they behave badly most of the time and people think they're me. I think they say that there's no problem with global heating but I say it's a nightmare it's a massive problem it's cataclysmic abysmal terrible problem I say that everyone should do what they can about it reasonably practically I say that organizations governments People, individuals, communities, places of worship, businesses, everyone should do what they can to combat global warming, global heating, global boiling. Otherwise, it's just a terrible problem. I mean... So hundreds of thousands of people are dying, they're losing their homes, their businesses. It's ruining the world, it's ruining nature, it's ruining wildlife. It's a total disaster. I think it's just terrible that the government's approved all these licenses for fossil fuels. It's the last thing they should be doing. I've got a lot of sympathy with Extinction Rebellion and Just Stop Oil. I used to... Um, I was part of Extinction Rebellion. I was part of the Christian branch of Extinction Rebellion for a while. But I didn't want to be arrested, so I, um, I backed out. And I, I'm not entirely sure that their methods are the right ones, but... I've got a lot of some. I agree with what they're trying to achieve. I think um, people who are wealthy should help. People in poor countries like in Africa, in East Africa, there's virtually a famine on. It's, um, it's a nightmare for people in Ethiopia and Somalia and um, Kenya and some of Kenya and South Sudan. People are, it's almost a famine. They're, they're really hungry, they're really suffering. They've not had proper rains for years. And South Sudan, they were flooded. I think people who are wealthy should help them. And the government in this country should be doing more instead of cutting back the aid. And I think the government could do a lot more for poor people in this country as well. I mean, the Trussell Trust says that another £35 for people on universal credit would would sort of be just wonderful. It would be a, sort of massively helpful. And it's what they need and deserve. It's what we need and deserve. Because I'm on universal credit. I think this person who looks very like me and goes around pretending to be me is a nightmare. I think um, in the 2000, um, 
in about 2015, I thought God told me that there was a test of God. Now, I don't know whether this is true, but I thought there was. God said there was a test of God involving me. Well, if there is, I totally wash my hands of this test. In the Bible, in about three of the four Gospels, it's got that Jesus said, in the beginning, near the beginning of each Gospel, of three of the Gospels, it's got that Jesus was tempted in the wilderness by the devil. And um, about three of the Gospels, it's got, got it that Jesus said, Thou shalt not test the Lord thy God. So what are people doing testing God? They shouldn't be doing it. I totally wash my hands of this test of God, if there is a test of God. I want nothing to do with it. I'm, I don't agree with it. No wonder the world's in a state of people are testing God. I don't agree with it. I totally wash my hands of it. Anyway, I think this person who impersonates me says that um, they need operations, but I've never had any diagnosis of cancer. I don't require any operations. I don't want any operations. I don't need any operations. I shouldn't have any operations. And um, I think this impersonator is some sort of pervert, but I'm just a heterosexual woman, never married, looking for a man partner. I'm just a straight woman. I was born a woman of every intention of remaining a woman. And I think this impersonator says that they don't do my art, but I do my own art. I think it may be that 